Hello and welcome to my first video using Adobe Premiere Pro. So hopefully this works out okay. Um, if, as you work through the first uh, couple of labs in Factory I.O. using the Assembler uh, Factory, um, the first goal was to just to get the factory working using Compact Logic PLC. Uh, the second lab was to add the manual control system plus the visual indication that the uh, cylinders were actually reaching their, their limits and the clamps were clamping and everything was working properly. And the third lab was to network two PLCs together to be able to send parts from one PLC to the other PLC. So here we have PLC1, which we're calling the blue assembly system, sending parts over to PLC2, which is the green assembly system. PLC1 is using the vision system to detect parts going into the clamps. If they're blue, it'll clamp, it'll pick up the part, lid, put it on top of the base, and it'll send that through to the remover. Uh, when the remover sees that assembly, it does not send a command over to the next PLC uh, emitter because it's an assembly. So the assumption there is that it's actually picked off the conveyor by a robot or some other type of system. Only the green lids and green bases move from PLC1 to PLC2. A uh, couple of caveats to uh, this system just to try to keep it simple. As you noticed, if there is a green lid or green base on PLC2 and another green lid or green base approaches the dissolver, or remover, it will remove those parts, but they will not reappear on PLC2 because there's already two parts there. Uh, the assumption being is that those parts are going to a buffer or some other type of system. I didn't want to overcomplicate the lab by telling the students that they had to do something with those extra parts, so in this case I'm just allowing them to disappear. Uh, they could fall off the end of the conveyor if you wanted to, you could stop them from being removed, or in this case I'm sending the data over to PLC2, but I'm not actually um, creating another set of parts. Now my, uh, my plan here is to create another couple of videos with just this assembly system working and communicating uh, between the two PLCs. In one of the videos, what I'd like to do is split, uh, in PLC1, split the blue lid and blue base so that it actually doesn't create an assembly and force those parts to move to PLC2 because the, the general basis here is that PLC1 and PLC2 uh, programming wise are almost identical except for the removers in the emitter, emitter portion of it uh, plus the fact that PLC1 is creating blue assemblies and PLC2 is creating green assemblies. So hopefully I'll do that in another uh, another video and show you how that works and maybe also create another video uh, showing the manual operations of the PLC. So since I'm posting this on YouTube, if you go to my website www.wayneshafer.com you will find uh, all three labs plus all the files used to create those labs and the solutions for those labs. Again, thank you for watching.